Welcome to Orlando Live. I'm Marisa Pascal. We are back at City Arts Factory for third Thursday. There is a ton of great artwork here. We're going to jump right into it. Page 15 is a children's uh, literacy nonprofit here in Orlando, and so we did a project. This is our fifth year doing this. It's called our High School Anthology Project. We had over 200 submissions this year. We picked the best 15 and we published them in a book. And this year, we paired each of our authors, our published authors, with an Orlando artist. And so each one of their stories in, um, in this book, titled From Orlando with Love, uh, has a custom uh, piece of art that goes with it. The fine art scene was not that well known in Orlando because it's the land of the theme parks. So when the galleries started opening and it started to be more active and the fine arts were in the news more, you wanted to be a part of it. And so my students are here walking around and sharing with them that we do have a fine arts world in Orlando and it's going to drive even the theme parks. Me and my girlfriend, we're both kind of socially awkward and we try and do these cute things, but you always end up doing some weird, weird uh, hand motion or whatever, and it's entitled All This Space, but I just want to be next to you. It's kind of like all, the, all these people, all this, you know, all this earth, but I just want to be with her. One of the things I love about being a mixed media artist is that there are no rules. It's, it's like putting a puzzle together, and I'm always looking for things, discarded things. I love discarded jewelry. <laughs> is one of my favorite things to use. So to me, mixed media is all about expression of finding things and creating something new. I don't put limitation, I don't put nothing in my art. When I try to do something, I do it. I, the thing that's coming to my mind, I do it. But when I paint and I inspire it, I can paint this thing in a couple hours. We call Kanila our princess in sneakers because every morning on the weekend she goes in her closet and puts on a princess dress and then spends her entire day in it. But because she's so active and full of energy, if she tries to wear the fancy shoes, she falls over. And so I always have to have her run and put sneakers on. And so I made sure to get her sneakers in there. But I just caught this moment of kind of that calmness too with all of this personality. I'm always, sometimes I'll be bored and I'll look for inspiration because I can't find any. And I'll look online and I'll look at uh, world news and I might see something, you know, tragic or I might see something happy but I'm always trying to get today and you know a piece of my energy into every painting. Noor Cafe is a concept that I came up with years ago when I first moved to Florida on having craft uh, coffee, handmade, just like olden style. Um, I actually found a coffee blend that's over 100 years old and it's real authentic coffee that we're creating here. Um, real rustic look as well. Um, we're going to do local bakeries with uh, handcrafted sandwiches and melts and just cater to the guests downtown. Thank you for watching Orlando Live. I'm Raisa Pascal. We hope you've enjoyed this look at Third Thursday as well as City Arts Factory's newest edition, Nord Cafe. Don't forget to keep Orlando awesome and we'll see you next time.